morning children today we are here to discuss unit 8 floating bodies of ninth class this is our fourth session within this session we are going to discuss about lab activity 1 lab activity 1 we are going to discuss what does this particular lab activity 1 gives information about it gives information about to find out the relative density of different objects i have taken different objects such as rubber terrazzers wooden blocks glass sliders iron nail plastic cubes piece of aluminium sheet glass marbles stones corks etc i have taken these all different objects i have taken i would like to calculate relative density what is called as relative density general formula it is nothing but what weight of object to the top of it is a ratio of weight of object to the top density of object to the top density of water density of object to the top density of water if we divide it up we will get a formula this what weight of object by the top weight of object into equal to the top volume of object it will be there now we are going to calculate that particular formula relative density is nothing but density of object by density of water that is the formula of relative density how to calculate that particular one let me see it first of all material required is nothing but what overflow vessel what does it mean overflow vessel i have taken a, a vessel here this vessel consisting of a beak If I fill water up to this particular level, if I immerse anything, that is nothing but either a block, glass marble, nails, aluminium sheet, anything. If I allow it to be it to be get immersed in this particular liquid, depending upon the weight of that particular object, the water from this particular beaker will come and gather in one jar. The jar is called as measuring jar of 50 ml. How much ml it is? 50 ml. It is existing. That is overflow vessel. I have taken there itself. I have taken what? Overflow vessel. I have taken there. Second one is what? This jar which is collecting the overflow of water. That is called as what? Measuring jar or beaker of 50 milliliter. And weighing, balancing weights are taken here. Common balance of digital balance, by which I can measure the weight of different articles such as wooden rubber terrazzers, wooden blocks, glass slides, iron nails, plastic cube, piece of aluminium sheet, marble, stones, cork, etc. So on. Anything I can use it up here there. So I have taken weighing, weighing machine or electronic balance also. We can take it up. Then afterwards, all different articles are taken there by which we can weigh it up. These are the material required to perform this activity. Next one is what an important note we have to keep is nothing but what whenever we take whenever object we take ensure that its volume must be more than twenty cubic centimeter. Should not be hollow. First thing is what the volume of that particular concerned object, either erasers, wooden block, glass slides, iron nails, plastic cubes, piece of aluminium sheet. Any one of this particular article, its volume must be greater than or more than 
20 cubic centimeters and should and it should not be hollow inside they should not have any empty space empty space should not be that exists inside that particular object that particular case we have to think then procedure or description how we have to perform i would like to calculate of what wooden block i would like to calculate the itself relative density of wooden block i would have taken one wooden block before taking the wooden block what you do is what take this particular measuring jar of 50 ml of length keep it on common balance keep it on common balance and weigh it weigh it after weighing that particular one just keep aside there itself note down that particular weight note down that particular weight after weighing it up note down that particular weight and place that measuring jar exactly under the beak of that particular vessel that itself I place that particular one overflow vessel under near the beak of that particular one of overflow vessel you place that particular measuring jar then afterwards take a wooden block take one wooden block there itself we don't know the weight place it on surface of this particular one take a wooden block and place before taking the wooden block fill this particular jar overflow vessel jar with complete up to this particular be completely filled with what water completely filled with what water and take care that as it is completely filled up the drops from this particular be will fall down so till the drops have been like fallen down and no drop is falling down till that time just keep up keep this particular measuring jar of PML aside after that placing underneath of this particular well, beak there itself of overflow vessel then afterwards take a wooden block note down its weight let the weight of the particular object be as what x grams and care must be taken is nothing but what 20 cubic centimeter uh, cubic uh, volume of the particular object must be 20 cubic centimeter or centimeter cube or halide which not which not be Hello, the care to take it up, note down the particular grams, tie it with a thread and allow the particular block to be immersed into this particular liquid. Put a block immersed into what the liquid there itself. As I am immersing the particular wooden block into this particular liquid, due to the weight of this particular object as it is tied to a thread, due to the weight if it is not immersing by using a pin, allow the particular block to be immersed in liquid. If its volume is greater than that of volume of water, it will immerse into that particular liquid. We know it clearly. So what happens? That block will immerse into liquid. If it is less, apply certain by using pin, apply certain force, and allow that particular block to be immersed. As the block is immersing into the liquid, what happens? That itself, the water will be the water level will be get rises up due to rising of the particular water level. That water will be collected into 50 milliliter measuring jar. 50 milliliter measuring jar of water will be get collected until the last drop of the particular water which is overflowing to this, overflowing to this particular vessel and collecting in this one up to that time keep that particular measuring jar of 50 milliliter underneath of beak so the last drop of the particular beak of overflow vessel water it is if it is filling up into that one after stopping the dropping of uh, dropping from the water from the beak uh, beak side Take this particular measuring jar consisting of consisting of a high amount of liquid in milliliter. Place it again with water. Place it again with water on the surface of common balance on which a digital common digital balance. Weight it. First weight is what we one weight have taken. Second weight is what we two weight have taken. This weight is of what cylinder plus as a measuring jar plus as well as water consisting. This is of what only measuring jar, measuring cylinder only there itself. It is weight is subtract this W two minus W one. I will get a water displaced to this particular object. This what water plus cylinder weight of the object be as what y grams to take it up. Note down that measuring is W two grams. We have taken as what W two grams. After that, what we do before placing it, I have taken weight this is to W1 grams. Weight of water displaced by object. So, what happened? As I am subtracting W2 minus W1, 
I will get over W2 minus W1 will give us water displaced by object depending upon the weight of the object depending upon the weight of the object water will be get displaced that particular weight can be calculated here later on calculate relative density of relative density of what an object called as wooden block what is the formula here density of object by density of water water will be existing in what a gram as we are taking density is nothing but weight of object if i am calculating the weight of object by weight of object equal to the volume of object here water displays so this volume displays is nothing but what equal volume it is equal it is a equal volume of object of which one weight of an object weight of an object therefore weight of object by weight of object to that of equal to that of volume of object if we read up this together we will get relative density that relative density note down here after that again take one more article that is what plastic tubes are taken If I am taking plastic tube, weight of plastic tubes is equal to what? You take it as p grams. You take it as weight of a. Uh, uh, before before that, W1 as well as W2 are taken there. Here W2 is nothing but what? Q Q grams. You take it as water displaced. And afterwards, what water in cylinder we got Q grams. And afterwards, what R grams we got it as. Then weight density is equal to what we are taking there. Density of water P grams by displaced by object R grams will give us relative density. Weight of object by weight of volume of object weight of object displaced by water that is one word volume of object that is R grams P by R grams will give us nothing but what relative density of object in that particular way for various how many are there here one two three four five six. Seven, eight, nine. How many number of elements with respect to the law of density of water we can calculate relative density of water? This is the lab activity one. Thank you, children, for watching.